Hello everybody and welcome back to today's episode of Virtual Truck Driver Daily. Today, <coughs> excuse me, today's episode is number 363. 63! We're nearly there, we're just two days away. So this is Sunday's episode and obviously it's still Friday for me, it's half past nine on Friday. And I was doing a little um, chore through Facebook while I was waiting for Saturday's video to render and upload to YouTube. And I come across an article from motorsport.com. Apparently, a WRC fan died during a crash last night at Monte Carlo Rally. Now, there are a lot of stories flying through and a lot of rumours as they do when this happens. But the WRC themselves have come out and said that the bloke was stood in a place where nobody's allowed to be and it was actually fenced off to stop people from going there because there's a high risk that there could be a crash there except this crash was and it's Hayden Padden and I'm not going to have a go at him it's obvious he's just been done on black ice frankly and there was nothing he could do to stop it which sucks a lot but he's, uh, because of the speed he's coming in and the angle, he's just, he's rear end's just shot up up the bank. And apparently this bloke that unfortunately died was stood there setting up his GoPro. Now I'm not being funny, no, I wouldn't set up, well I ain't got a GoPro, but I wouldn't set up a camera anywhere where I wasn't allowed to be. Because he shouldn't have been there. And you run yourself at an eye risk of being injured. And dying because you want the perfect GoPro shot. Now I can see why the bloke wants a GoPro shot because if you put it at a certain height it's just a well known spot in Monte Carlo and if he puts the camera up high you can see the car's a bit further away to when they go right under you which is an awesome shot. There's been a few photographers that have pushed their luck in previous years and unfortunately this, this bloke died and it's obvious he's fallen quite away as well because the car was a good car with foot the bank so what I'm talking about 18 20 meters up the bank I'm not being funny and I this is why I don't go to Wales Rally GP I wouldn't want to stand in a forest behind a tree and have a car hurtling towards me at over 130 miles an hour do you know what I mean because these new cars they can fly it's a whole new era for WRC this year and unfortunately 14 minutes into its new era the worst tragedy ever is, that could ever happen has struck and that's a shame because they've been hyping up this new WRC season for god knows how long absolutely god knows how like last year's rallies championship hadn't even finished before they was um before they was um hyping up this year's and the cars do look weird it's nice it's like a modern day era um, big, big, big group B, group B machines. They get me wrong. I believe that everybody should be able to do what they want, but when it is fenced off, saying "Do not enter," you will be seriously hurt and possibly die. I'm not going to enter it. Do you know what I mean? All for just a GoPro shot. I can see why the bloke wanted it. It's a cracking shot. But the photographers that were there before him doing the, the photos from previous years sent out a wrong message because apparently the WRC has said that this was a f regularly fenced off area in, in this rally, in this stage. And they're, they're aware that photographers have been in previous run-ins of the rally Monte Carlo and got, got some beautiful shots. But like I said, don't get me wrong, to get a perfect GoPro shot is not worth dying over it's not it's really not but i do feel bad for the bloke and i do feel bad for the bloke's family and i can see what he wanted to do but at the same time he should have respected the fact it was fenced off don't, don't get me wrong he's probably been swayed by previous photographers being up there but it's not really safe to do that um, if you just go on YouTube, you'll be able to see the crash. Um, I'm not going to link it in my video for obvious reasons. But 
At the end of the day, I do feel bad, and I feel bad that WRC has had his new, new era tarnished like this already. They had such a good safety record over the last few years as well. So, yeah. So unfortunately, that's me rant for Sunday. I'll see you tomorrow for a more perkier episode. I promise. Cheers for watching, guys. Take care.